this is Tom Meeks and this is a quick and dirty video it's not part of my tutorial series it's in response to a comment that somebody made on my last video and they asked how do you make a cylinder in to a y-shaped object well I'm going to show you how to do that and the easiest way to show you is just do it and videotape how I'm doing it as I go so this is sort of outside the realm of my normal um, system of tutorials However, we're going to start here. We're going to start with a circle. This is going to be the basis of our cylinder. All right, we got that circle, and I'm going to click on the circle, and you know, you know that I like to name object, so I say that's my base. Okay, we're going to call that the base. That, that way I can get rid of, uh, get it so that it's not visible here in the near future. Then I'm going to go to, uh, do something like making a line, but a polyline. It says pick a starting point. Well, I want to start right in the center of our circle, but then I'm going to drop down to the front view so that I can actually make that line go off to the right. Well, we'll hit done. Now I'm going to select that line, and I'm going to name that, and that's going to be my uh, Y rail. Okay, Y rail. All right. So now we have a circle, and we have a line. I'm going to pick the circle. Again, I can pick it up here. And this time, I'm going to go to Construct, Sweep. It's a select a rail. Well, I only have one rail, so I'm going to select that right here and hit Done. Now, you'll notice that using that circle and a rail, I've created a cylinder that goes off to the, comes up and then goes off to the right. And I'm going to say Done. I'm going to click off of that, and I'm going to turn off the base, turn off the rail so that I am very clear about what I want to see here. And I'm going to click the object. We're going to name that Y half. We'll say OK. And you'll see something about naming here in a minute. What I want to do with this is use this to create my Y shape. So I have a stovepipe coming up and a leg going off to the right. All I need to do to make two of those is to go to an array a circular array. It says pick a center point. Well, I want to pick the center of the stovepipe as it comes up, and my item count will be two. You'll see instantly that I have a Y shape. I could have actually made that a three or a four, whatever. Um, that array would come up and act like there was a single cylinder that branched off in whatever, however many different directions I chose. In this case, I'm going to say two. And I'm going to say done. Okay. Now, we now have two objects. We need to make one object. We do that by roping in both of these objects. We're going to construct Boolean union. And now we have a single object. And it's named Y half. It took on the name uh, that we had given it. We have our base, you know, we have our base, we have our rail, and we have our uh, full Y. And that's how you make it. Well, I hope this has been helpful. Um, it's, uh, as I said, a little quick and dirty. The sound hopefully is okay, and uh, the content hopefully is okay. And if you have any questions like this, I'd be happy to do these little quick and dirty tutorials along with my regularly scheduled uh, tutorials to learn Moment of Inspiration or Cubify Invent. Thanks a lot.